The 25 mm automatic cannon nestled inside the F-35, a variant of the Joint Strike Fighter, is now deemed to be an effective weapon. For years, a host of issues had left these stealth fighters unable to shoot straight. Problems with the 25 mm cannon have also been a particularly notable talking point in the still controversial debate over plans to supplant the venerable A-10 Warthog ground attack jet with the F-35A. Russ Gomer, a spokesperson for the F-35 Joint Program Office, JPO, provided the war zone with an update on the F-35A's gun, which is formally designated the GAU-22-A. Earlier this week, in the U.S. military, the F-35A is operated exclusively by the U.S. Air Force. After working with the Air Force and our industry partners, we can report that the gun has been improved and is effective. Gomer said in a statement, We continue to work with industry, the services, and our international partners for further improvements and to maximize effectiveness and lethality at the tactical-slash-operational level. Each F-35A has a single GAU-22-A, which is a four-barreled Gatling cannon with a rate of fire of 3,300 rounds per minute installed on an internal mount above the aircraft's left engine intake. To maintain the jet's stealthy characteristics, the gun's muzzle is hidden behind a flush-mounted door that opens when the weapon is fired and closes back up when it stops. The GAU-22-A is a lighter weight derivative of the five-barreled GAU-12 you found on the AV-8B Harrier jump jet and the now-retired AC-130U Spooky gunship. It is interesting to note that all other tactical jets currently in U.S. military service, except for the A-10 and the aforementioned Harrier, are armed with versions of the 20mm M61 Vulcan cannon, a six-barreled Galting-type design. As installed on the F-35A, the GAU-22 Slash A feeds from a magazine with a maximum capacity of 180 rounds. Given the size of the magazine, the gun had just over three seconds worth of total available firing time during a single sortie. The short and vertical takeoff and landing capable F-35B and carrier-based F-35C variants of the Joint Strike Fighter, which the U.S. Marine Corps and Navy operate, do not have internal guns. These versions can be armed with a GPU-9 slash a gun pod, which contains a GAU-22 slash A and 220 rounds of 25 mm ammunition loaded on their centerline stations. The current standard operational round for the GAU-22 slash A is the PGU-48 slash P, a so-called frangible armor-piercing FAP round with a tungsten core. This is a kinetic round designed to destroy targets through sheer force of impact. The frangible penetrator is designed to break up and turn into a hail of deadly shrapnel after penetration as well. German defense contractor Rheimatol, which manufactures the PGU-48-B, has touted the round as being particularly well-suited to engaging enemy aircraft and armored vehicles on the ground in the past. The rounds are also expensive, costing around $131 each, according to the U.S. Air Force's latest budget request for the 2025 fiscal year. At that unit price, it costs $23,580 to fully load an F-35A's magazine. For comparison, the Air Force's current standard 20mm PG-28-B semi-armor-piercing high-explosive incendiary cartridges each cost about $34, so the price tag to fill up the 511-round magazine for the M61 Vulcan cannon on an F-16C Viper. The primary aircraft the F-35A is intended to supplant is only around $17,000. There is always the possibility that other types of 25mm ammunition, such as high explosive and slash or incendiary types, including ones already developed for use in the GAU-12-U, could be cleared for use in the GAU-22-A. What limitations there might be in making use of existing and future ammunition types? beyond the PGU-48-B are unclear. Though the internal guns were installed on production F-35 as from the start, the first real ability to use them operationally came with the introduction of the Block 3F software package starting in the mid-2010s. Testing in 2016 uncovered an initial set of issues impacting the F-35A with its internal gun and F-35B-C is with potted ones. The problems were linked to how certain symbology was displayed to pilots through their helmet-mounted displays, HMD. 
Unlike many combat jets past and present, all three F-35 variants lack a traditional heads-up display, HUD, in the cockpit and instead project the same kinds of information and much more directly onto the visor of the pilot's helmet. Both DT, developmental test, and OT, operational test. Pilots have reported concerns from preliminary test flights that the air-to-ground gun strafing symbology displayed in the helmet is currently operationally unusable and potentially unsafe to complete the plan testing due to a combination of symbol clutter obscuring the target, difficulty reading key information, and pipper stability. According to a report, the Pentagon's Office of the Director of Operational Test and Evaluation, DOTNE, changes have been made to the software packages on F-35 to help fix the symbology problems, though DOTNE said more testing was needed to reach a definitive assessment. Issues with employing the potted guns also seem to have been resolved. However, by that time, Additional problems specific to the internal GAU-22-A installation on the F-35A had emerged. Investigations into the gun mounts of the F-35 had revealed misalignments that result in muzzle alignment errors. As a result, the true alignment of each F-35 a gun is not known, so the program is considering options to re and correct gun alignments. Another DOT-NE report, published in 2020s, said, Based on F-35, a gun testing to date, DOTNE considers the accuracy of the gun, as installed in the F-35A, to be unacceptable. On top of that, the misalignment of the gun was causing physical damage to F-35 as while firing. Units flying newer F-35A aircraft discovered cracks in the outer mold line coatings and the underlying chi laundron skin near the gun muzzle after aircraft returned from flights when the gun was employed. The report DOTNE released in 2020 explained, due to the recent cracking near the gun muzzle in newer F-35A aircraft, the U.S. Air Force has restricted the gun to combat use only for production lot 9 and newer aircraft. Exactly when these issues were addressed to the point that the F-35 Joint Program Office determined that the gun was finally effective is not entirely clear. Cracking issues relating to the use of the F-35A's internal gun have also resurfaced in recent years, but do not look to be impacting the weapon's accuracy. The Air Force's position has long been that the ability of the F-35A, as well as other aircraft, to take over close air support duties from the A-10 lies more with an increasing focus on the use of precision-guided bombs and missiles, as well as Warthog's vulnerability to modern air defenses. The A-10's advocates contend that the aircraft remains uniquely suited to performing close air support and other often overlooked missions, and that various steps could be readily taken to mitigate various operational limitations. You can read more about all of this in the context of the additional information from the redacted comparison testing report here. Questions certainly remain about the overall utility of the F-35A's gun, with its just over three seconds of total firing time in an air-to-ground or air-to-air -air context. In an air-to-ground scenario, especially the 25mm PG-48B round presents its additional limitations in terms of what effects the gun can generate compared to ones that have the option of firing high explosive and slash or incendiary ammunition, regardless of accuracy. Still, the 25mm rounds, even if limited in quantity, are far more destructive against air and ground targets than the more plentiful 20mm ones of a similar type found in all other American fighter aircraft. 